Welcome back. This is our module 2 Network Basics. In this lecture, we will learn about what is WPA and WPA2. So, WPA and WPA2. Okay, WPA is more secure than its producer. WPA and is called Wi Fi Protected Access and should be used whenever possible wireless routers support multiple security protocol to secure wireless networks including web wpa and wpa2 of the three wpa2 is a more secure as it comparison explains so this is our comparison chart wpa and wpa2 stand for WPA Wi-Fi protected access and Wi-Fi protected access 2 what is it a security protocol developed by the Wi-Fi Alliance in 2003 for the use in securing wireless networks designed to replace the web protocol and WPA2 is a, a security developed by security protocol developed by the Wi-Fi Alliance in 2004 for the use in secure securing wireless network designed to replace the web and WPA protocols. Methods As a temporary solution to web problems, WPA still use web insecure RC4 stream cipher but provide a extra security through TKIP as we discussed earlier TKIP. Unlike web and WPA, WPA2 uses the AES advanced encryption okay use of AES standard instead of the RC4 stream cipher CCMP replace the WPA's TKIP secure and recommended somewhat superior to web inferior to WPA2 yes through a more secure when Wi-Fi protected WPS is a Wi-Fi protected sample is disabled yeah it should be disabled uh, be, because we have a separate video about WPS how we can crack our WPA2 key with WPS pin attack because normally some router has enabled WPS pin so we can crack with some tools like a river we can crack easily if you don't if you don't have any dictionary or any type of attack you can apply it you can perform attack with WPS okay so it's very easy to perform this attack what's purpose <clears throat> if a router left unsecured someone can steal your internet bandwidth carry out illegal activities through your connection monitor your ac internet activity and install a malicious software on your network WPA and WPA2 are the main of protected wireless internet networks from such mischief by securing the network from unauthorized access how you can apply settings in your router how you can change from the web to WPA and WPA2 so just open up browser and here is a full document about the WPA2 on the Wikipedia okay this is a link about WPA2 so hit enter type this IP address 192.168.1.1 okay and then go to wireless section wireless tab okay here you need to click on security settings okay security tab You can see w, in my case WPS, T, WPS is enabled. You should disable the WPS pin, okay? Because somebody can crack your key with WPS pin attack, okay? And here is SSID and the network authentication is mixed WPA2, okay? You have to select anything. If, for example, if you are using open or using a web. So you should change to WPA or WPA2. Okay, here is WPA PSK, WPA2, WPA PSK. Okay, in my case, I'm using the mix WPA and WPA2. 
so you can change it easily from WPA2 and WPA here is WPA encryption TKIP and AES so you can select AES or TKIP so I hope you can understand it thanks for watching this video the next topic is yeah max spoofing and changing so our theory is uh, almost is finished so from the next we will start our practical videos so i hope you will enjoy it thanks for watching this video goodbye